Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and there has been another beta update, so we are going to go over some of the cool new stuff that is coming to the game, one of which I know people are going to be super excited for. The cat cape is different, and it's more of a scarf now. I actually really like it. Uh, we'll also be going over some of the Season of Aurora constellations, and yeah, let's start. So, starting off with the cat cape, which I actually didn't think I'd like that much, but... Ooh. It's a bit of a substitute for the Season of the Little Prince cape, but in like a little emo goth kind of way. It still has the cat paw on the front. Down the back we have the cat faces as the wing and light. But we have this dark cape and I think it looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. Here is a little outfit I made using all of the new stuff and some past stuff of course. I have the krill horns, but we have the cat hair, the cat cape, and the cat mask. And it's pretty incredible. I like it a lot. Um, it's nice to have this scarf that'll come every Halloween for those that really want a scarf item. And I do suggest getting them because they really show off your outfit a lot more. You can see the sides and the sleeves. I am a big fan. I also think that from like a sales point of view, this outfit is going to sell a lot more because of this new cape. Another cape change is the little fairy pixie wing cape from the Season of Aurora. It was already transparent, but ah, wow, they did something with this one. It is beautiful. It sparkles, it shines. I love it. It looks fantastic. The little glow as you move your camera angle or as your sky kid breathes is just perfect. I feel like a little pixie. And here it is like on top of itself, the transparency, it still looks great. From the front, it looks fantastic. I love that that little white outline sort of disappears when you're looking at it from the front. Like there's no white on the very top. It just looks beautiful. And here it is flying. The animation is a little weird, I guess. I mean, it, it's just on your back. It doesn't feel like you're flying with the wings. It feels like you're flying with your arms, which is what I expected. Um, similar to almost like the capeless cape or a scarf cape. But yeah, I love it. It's so pretty. For the other Season of Aurora capes, they are pretty much exactly the same as they were before. I don't think they're going to become transparent anymore. I don't know whether that's because they ran out of time and it was hard to implement, or maybe it was the plan the entire time. Um, they did put out a statement in the beta channel saying that this is the intended version for release. For the Season of Aurora constellations, things have changed around just a little bit. We're going to check out each one. And remember that these are not permanent in any way. They may change before it comes to the live game. But we have this character's mask for free. Also, their blue cape for free. That is the one with the rounded back. Let me show you it in just a sec. Uh, that one right there. Kind of like a little beaver tail. This is a free cape. From this character, their hairstyle is free, their mask is season pass exclusive, and their cape is season pass exclusive. The Mindful Miner. From the Warrior of Love, their mask seems to be free, their hairstyle is adventure pass exclusive, we have a music sheet for free, and their cape is adventure pass exclusive. And this is a pretty cool cape for me. I am excited. I love the color of this one. Why is he on fire? Oh my goodness. The Seed of Hope. Their mask seems to be free. Hairstyle, Adventure Pass exclusive. Another music sheet for free. Their outfit seems to be free. And their cape looks to be Season Pass exclusive. Again, these things may change. But I will have a video on them pretty soon with all the prices. As for the Aurora stuff, we have the hairstyle, the outfit, and the cape. For adventure pass and then we have their mask and the green outfit for free this might not be permanent like the season of the little prince it might be temporary only while the season is active so if you want to get these make sure you are saving up the season of the little prince suit was 200 candles if i am remembering correctly so make sure you're saving up quite a bit i like that those ones are potentially free though and that is my favorite mask of the season too Things have changed a little bit here. I haven't really gone over it too much. I do plan to. Sorry, I've been uh, delaying my season videos a little bit. We'll go over all of the upgraded emotes and the quests pretty soon. 
And here we are waiting for the Krill Coaster, which has gone through a bit of an update from what I've read. Let's take a ride. I actually really love that they added this. It's pretty cool. Um, and I love that they're actually calling it a Krill Roller Coaster because that's basically what it is. We are stuck on this camera angle. You can't change it. Ooh, red! Whoa! Oh my goodness, the speed! Whoa! I like that the camera flipped. Whoa! Okay, this is pretty cool. And I think you can come on this with uh, six or maybe even a whole server of people. Maybe eight people. Whoa! Trying to buck me off. Back at the start, waiting for more people to get on board. I love the grill coaster. One more ride. Let's go. Okay, I gotta get off. Two rides is enough. That's a bit much for me. Ooh, I'm tired. And that is pretty much everything in this update. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Mau Mau's. Bye.